a difference the lights make with the, whoo, you know, it was all mm -hmm. grainy before. All right, are you ready? No. <laughs> 1220. Do I have a choice? No, you don't. I know, I'm already here. Yes, you are. The worst that can happen is we fire you. Damn it. <laughs> <I> just kidding. <laughs> One and done. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. Cool. So, so that's us. Uh, it's a little delayed. Huh. Eye contact there. Eye contact is on the phone. Yeah. Always on the phone. It's kind of trippy. Isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. It's like I'm seeing myself in partial delay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing myself in partial delay for quite some time, Kristen. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I live in partial delay trying to make eye contact. Now I get it. Yeah, it's now hard, it. isn't it? Yeah. Wow. This is and weird. I never used any scripts either, so I just wing everything. I can't believe that. That's the only way I know. Mm. Alright, what you got for me? Alright. You ready? I'm ready. Thank you. 
So no. you do play you do play it differently. So I do. so do we as the band do it incorrectly? No, no, that's not the case. <laughs> so you do it incorrectly. I do it incorrectly, completely. <laughs> so I have a bad habit of first off using my capo, but I like to transpose everything. So mm -hmm. you know, Maynard's got a much lower tone than I do. So mm -hmm. I always try to move my capo up to a point where it makes it makes my voice sound okay. As you should, as, you as a singer. Yeah. So awesome. it works for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I have my very good friend Kristen <laughs> Young here with me today. Hello. Um, and Kristen is the singer in um, my band in Baltimore. What's next? You can check us out at baltimoresbestband.com. Okay. And you've been with us uh, three years? Almost. Has it been that long? Mm hmm. That's crazy. I know, right? Yeah, and so you have the rare privilege, <laughs> the treat even, <laughs> of spending <laughs> eight to 12 nights a, a month. Out with about us crazy maniacs. Oh, I do love you guys, though. Love, hate, love, you know, hate. I just keep the hate part on, on the down low. <laughs> have my moments. <laughs> no, but um, we're very, very privileged to have you. And even though the band has a lot of inter-banter going on, we all agree that um, finding you is like the best thing we ever did as a band. I appreciate that. No, you, well, you, do, a, you do a damn good job. And the fact that, I'm going to let everybody know, that... We're the first band you were, have been in. It's true. It's crazy. Yeah, it's true. How I, do we even uh, find each other? So, Matt Bowers, who you were raving about the other week. He's been the subject of quite know, some right? uh, discourse on here. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he's been a patient of my mom's for a long time. Right. And uh, we had met years ago, and then I had actually gone to California for my birthday three years ago, and was like, I'm going to go to California, and I'm going to play music, and I'm going to do this whole thing, and then on the plane ride home, I got a message from Matt Bowers saying, hey, you want to audition for this band? And I'm like, what band are you talking about here? He's like, we do everything from Guns N' Roses to Katy Perry, and I was like, all right, I'm done, I'll be there. <laughs> and he was like, it's going to be an extremely relaxed audition. <laughs> These are very nice people. Matt, Matt actually scared me into my audition. He... He goes, do not, in capital letters, do not come in with lyrics. And I was like, holy crap, okay. So this is like a big deal. And he said, you know, everybody you guys had auditioned before came in with lyrics. And oh, yeah. They were, he was like, I'm not okay with that. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So I walked in that door with no lyrics in my hand. And here I am today. So. Well, we're very glad to have you. And um, so aside from the crazy cover band thing that we do, You've been, you've been playing guitar for, how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, on and off since I was about, I want to say 20, Yeah. probably. Yeah. I had gotten a guitar when I was about 16, but I wasn't really feeling it at the time. Mm -hmm. And I've got little hands, so it's mm -hmm. like, you know, trying to, it Me just too. wasn't my thing. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't, it wasn't working. Yeah. So I put it down for a few years, and then I got, um... God, what was my first actual electric? I got an ESP Viper. It was like bright red like that. What the hell is an ESP Viper? It was, okay, so <laughs> so I, the people that I used to hang out with a long time ago when I like graduated high school, we were all into like this metal, like hardcore scene. So right. you're talking like Ibanez guitars and like all of those guitars that all the metal people use. And that was right. one of them. Right. I loved it. It was kind of, it almost kind of looked like a, like a Gibson. Right. But had this like funky, I can't even explain it. But anyway, I actually traded that guitar. Really? For this one. See, so why did you trade it to an acoustic? Because you wanted to do some singing, songwriting type stuff? I had bought a Yamaha acoustic. Right. And I got it for a cheap price. A friend was trying to get rid of it. And I liked it, but it just wasn't doing it for me. Uh -huh. And a friend of mine, um, he had this guitar just sitting in a case for, I can't even tell you how long. But then I had taken my electric over there one time, and he was just like, I love your guitar. And he took <laughs> it out, and he starts playing it, and I was like, you want to trade? <laughs> so I think like two years ago, we, we actually, for Christmas, we yeah. exchanged guitars. That's awesome. Yeah, and I, got, and I got this little thing. Which model is that one? I am not... 60 CE? Yeah. Gotcha. And so you just had our, our good friend Lee Hirschman. Oh, Lee. Lee and Lee a good guy. Lee is such a good dude. I have known him since I was about five years old. And How have you... Okay, from Carroll County? Yeah. Yeah, we went to... We, I mean, we went to preschool together all the way up until we graduated high school. So yeah. I've known him for a long time. And Lee's great. I've been trying to do a, do a video with Lee. 
You should. He he took my guitar out of the case, you know, we're sitting there talking, and then he's just like, blah, 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 and starts noodling, and I'm like, what? I know, he spends all his time making and fixing it's, instruments, and I was like, dude, you're a bitch in country player. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> and he, like, he tuned it up for me, he polished it for me, put new strings on it, replaced the nut down here, and mm -hmm. sounds like new. It's Looks good, it's too. It's beautiful. I love this thing. So. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, did you bring a song with you? You did? I did. So one of the things I wanted to <laughs> one of the things I wanted to go over with um, or with you about is so like if I'm a, if I'm a guitar player another instrumentalist and someone writes a song and they bring you this kind of uh, you know basic it's just chords and mm -hmm. vocals you know see if we can figure out something on the fly some different parts to kind of make it bring it to life a little bit. You definitely did it one time, so I think you can do it again. Maybe. I don't know. So, uh, what is the name of this song? Uh, well, it's had a couple different titles. Uh, I call it Enemy. Okay. But uh, Maynard decided to call it Save Me, which kind of works. I was going to say, wasn't this wasn't this a song for your mom? It was. And it was you called it, it Enemy. I called it so. <laughs> rewind. I had actually I wrote the song in a pretty rough time in my life. Right. So, um, you know, the basis of the song is that I'm my own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. But. My mom was the first person to hear it, gotcha. and she was just like, oh, you know, like, you know how <laughs> mom is. As so, they do. Right. And she, I mean, she would play Especially it. Especially your mom. I know. I know. <laughs> Love you, mom, if you're watching. Um, like, every, every day, at least twice a day, according to my stepfather, she would play the song. Like, just on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. So... For her birthday this year, I was like, why not? You know, she loves the song. I've never played it for anybody live, ever. Mm -hmm. That um, was the first time. That was the first time. And I was nervous as all hell, but I did it for her, and she was, you know, she's crying and bawling, yeah. and she was so happy, and I don't know. So that's why it was for my mom, was because of that. Gotcha. But, and then, you know, made her call it Save Me, and I was like, now I don't know which one I should call it, because... <laughs> They both sound good. They both work. But so. Well, um, let's hear it. All right. <laughs> and I'll I'll jump in. Ooh. I'll jump in in a little bit. All right. Are you doing it in B again? It's the same. Yeah, it's the same one. And I have a bad habit of using these two little thingies down here. My two yeah. little fingers. No such thing as bad habits. Oh, it's just all the time. My fingers turn purple. All right. Here we go. <laughs> See, this is live. It's on the fly. I know. Thank you. 
Good damn song. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. No, that is a really, really good song. Thank you. And I feel like, um, thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Um, uh, what the hell do I even want to say about that? <laughs> I, 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 I feel like, no, 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 no. I, I feel like, especially songs that are you know that potent and that slow, you just got to leave a ton of air in there. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't really add much to that. Yeah, no. You know, mm -hmm. like, that's... Uh, I know we did it as the band before, and I kind of remember just kind of being like, hands off, <laughs> because I didn't want to step on the melody and everything. Yeah, but you know, uh, that version of that song is probably the favorite that I've ever heard. Really? with you guys, yeah. Was that recorded? Mm-hmm. Maynard recorded it on the board. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Uh, it Maybe sounded... he'll share it with us, and I'll post the link. <laughs> Yeah, it was um, because when I initially, I initially was working with a producer at uh -huh. one point, and he was like, the song is great, like, I really want to record it for you, mm -hmm. but it had this more, like, R&B kind of vibe to it, like, it had, like, the snapping behind it and things like that, which was fine, mm -hmm. but I've always been, I've always loved acoustic music, I've always loved everything about it, so, you know, to me, I've always wanted to be in a band, so mm -hmm. it was like, it would be nice to have a band back the track yeah and you guys went in there and you played it without ever freaking hearing it mm -hmm. you just kind of did it and even yeah I, I believe it or not, i had actually forgotten what the song sounded like when you came in today <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long though i know it's been that long <laughs> so i mean it was I, I listened to it a lot i have it saved on my phone and uh -huh. i just i love it i mean there was there was that one part where i like i messed up the end of it because i didn't like cue you guys so matt's sitting there like waiting for it and i'm like it's my fault yeah but no i do great. think if you record that one um i don't know maybe there'd be some some instrumentation where you take a little lead where i you know tried to jump in there but for the most part i it, that song sounds to me like you know like when, when bonnie ray comes out sitting on a stool you know just like straight up yeah little reverb you yeah. know it's nice to have a you know a band behind you but you do a great job with just that thanks buddy yeah that. You're welcome. Special song. So it is a special song. So that brings me to my next question: Is uh -oh. do you have more songs? So I don't. You don't. I don't. Um, I've. See, you're like. See, you're like everybody else in the band. You spend all your time learning other people's songs, and then when you're not doing that, you're doing your regular job. Yeah. And we don't write. I know. I'm guilty of it. I know. And um, you know, I I wrote that song. It just kind of like, it, 
I know a lot of people say this, it kind of just came to me. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was actually laying in bed and I was trying to... Did you write it on that guitar? I did. I did. Did it come like right when you got that guitar? No. It took a little bit. Okay. But um, the, the, the melody came first. Right. And then, you know, I sat down and I tried to write the words to it and just nothing was coming to mind. And then I was laying in bed one night and I don't know, I was just having a rough day and the words saved me from this mess I'm in came into my head and I was mm -hmm. like... I gotta write that down. Yeah, and then it just kind of grew from there. And no, it's good. It's, it's it's a really good melody, and I like how when you first come in with the save me, it's pretty much right on the beat, mm -hmm. and then the second one is kind of staggered a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, I love little stupid stuff like that. I do too. Yeah, I do too. It makes it makes a song special. Yeah. So. Well, we gotta get you writing some more, Kristen. I know. I've uh, I have a lot of little like I like to play around, you know, here and there. You know, I've been trying to work on like my picking and stuff like yeah. that. So I've got a couple of things I'm working on, but they're they just aren't ready for. Today. So why do you feel like when you hold your two fingers down that you get that is a hindrance that sticks? I don't, you know, I like I like how this sounds. It right. sounds pretty to me. So well, especially when you go over that C shape, because then it's that C. Yeah, it's just nine, it yeah. just sounds so pretty to me. So mm -hmm. I have I literally every song that I learn, I'm like, can I do it this way and leave my two fingers on and just kind of figure it out? And do you really generally? <laughs> now, do you generally, and, and, they, and there's no right or wrong answer here, okay? Do you generally um, lead with the same chord shapes and just move the capo? Yeah. Like, so you, so you you're basically I'm always thinking G is one. Yes. You know, very basic. As opposed to D or whatever. Yeah. And I, uh, that's one thing that you and I had talked about was I really want Michael to teach me how to play guitar. Hey, you need to teach me how to sing. We can trade. Trade off. I'm big like on the it. barter system. I like although, it. Although your job will be a lot harder. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, it's it's tough to uh, it's tough to sing and play at the same time, and I know a lot of people yeah. feel that way. And I mean, you know, I watched you with Luke last week, and yeah. he's, he's no great. problem. He's great. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. I'm, he's been doing it for years, and right. you know, I while I've been doing it for years, you know, I've had a lot of downtime in between. Did you did did you watch any of that, by the way? What with Luke? Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you watch the part where he said that? Not only did he not go to school for music, he went for like biophysics. Yeah, I was like. What? And and, and, he, and, and and I'm like, okay, so this guy's got, you know, a few hundred thousand dollar degree. And he's like, he's like so is that your day job? Think... He goes, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he is a good dude. He's a great guy. No, I was really impressed. I yeah. was uh, grateful to have met him and played with him. Yeah, it was, he was cool. Um, all right, well, yeah. where else can people find you? What, you know, you have a website. I mean, I mean besides our band, what's next? Where should we send people? Mostly Facebook and Instagram. I, yeah. yeah, I don't, um, I had tried starting my own, like, separate music page with my name and all of that, and it right. just kind of fell to the wayside, you know? Yeah. Social media is just a pain in the butt sometimes, and I don't mm -hmm. feel like updating all of it. You know, I am in charge of the What's Next band page, so it's like... Someone's got, gotta be. I got that, you know, and then I've got my personal page that I handle, and then I've got my photography that I handle on the side as well, so it's like... Just too much. So I posted on my personal. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I tagged you, but if not, I'll throw it in there, especially for YouTube. Yeah. And um, you need to write some more songs, and so the oh. band can we can all get behind you and get you out there. I know. I'd really like to eventually play that song. Let's make that. So. Let's make that our goal. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Yeah. See, it's public like now. It. It's, it's this real talk, real world. Now we have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> they heard you agree. <laughs> I gave the verbal word. All right. Fine. All right, deal. Um, you want to do one more? What you got? And then we'll call it a day. Ooh, I don't know, man. You know, you had that John Mayer showing up here. Makes me want to play a John Mayer song. Do it. I don't know it, but do it. Hmm. He really does do a damn good job with Dead and Company. He I am is really... hands down, like, my top inspiration. I'm very... Oh, last year... He was at um, the press conference for PRS in Nam, mm -hmm. and I really hope he's there again this year. I just want to tell him to say, "Hey, dude, like, I can't believe that you can sound that close to Jerry and still sound like with your have your own fingerprints." Yeah, like, I can't really imagine anybody doing it better than that. No, yeah, he's Al fantastic. Yeah, although I did see, I went to the very Jerry Christmas did you? with Chris Jacobs uh -huh. um, at the eight by ten. He does it. Does he? Oh, damn good, too. You know that Chris Jacobs, though. He's a talented man. He so. is. I'm trying to get him on here. So, Chris, if you're watching, you sounded great, man. <laughs> All right, which song are you going to do? Oh, 
Um, I'm switch to C on it. A little bit. I just want to play on the keyboard. I want to play the fifth Um, I love his new album. Mm -hmm. So I learned as basic as it is. I learned the uh, Love on the Weekend. Yeah, it doesn't have, doesn't have to it's be got all. Got three chords. Go for it. Simple, easy to do. Go for so, it. All right. <laughs> See if I remember it because I always screw that one in low die up because the beats are kind of the same. Uh huh. Hmm. It's very similar. <laughs> so basic. It's alright. I'm basic. <laughs> That's why I love you, buddy. Did that do he just basic? <laughs> so much for coming Thanks and singing and playing time. for it. Yeah. And you're coming back with a new song, <gasps> March 15th. Oh, shit. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't give me a deadline. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, yeah. everybody. Kristen Young, um, I will uh, put a link in the comments so everybody can come find you. And if you get a chance in the Baltimore area, you can come out and hear us sing live uh, with us. What's next? You oh, yeah. Baltimore'sBestBand.com. And, uh, yeah, if you're local, we're playing two nights, New Year's Eve at Fagers Island in Ocean City, which will not be rowdy at all. No. Be very moderate. Very, very mild. 
<laughs> Not right. I love you, girl. Love you too, buddy. Thanks for coming over. Of course, it was fun. Good times.